Today's gonna be a risky one, not gonna lie, and that's because we were watching every single banned commercial that was either pulled off air or wasn't even allowed to be put on air in the first place. That's right, so you're a terrible person for watching this and also an accomplice to a crime because this is illegal. Enjoy. Here we have banned racist Oreo commercials. So Oreo, I thought Oreo was a nice little fun cookie for everybody, but let's see. Looks good so far. This kid smacking down. Looks like he got older. He has more Oreos now. And he's a middle-aged man. Don't see the controversy. Oh, it's gonna be him. I bet you he's racist. Chocolate cream Oreo. <laughs> the most amazing thing to happen to an Oreo in 89 years. Never mind. Why is that controversial? My guy's just, he was shocked. I mean, if I for 80 years was eating the same exact cookie and then all of a sudden the cream was swapped for a different colored cream, I would be really upset. First, they're sour. <laughs> then they're sweet. What? What the? I don't know what I just watched. I don't even have commentary for that. I just can't believe that's a real commercial. Okay, so it looks as if this is fake. So this is actually a fan-made commercial, which makes me feel better because I don't know who made who makes Sour Patch Kids. Is that Haribo? Is that a uh, Mars? Whoever it is, if they actually put this out in good faith, that's crazy. So this one is for Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't know why they even have commercials. I guess everything needs a commercial, but this is from 2019. Is that the guy from Impractical Jokers? Quinn? Is that his name? Q? What is so bad about this? Irresponsible dads? Is that really a thing that people call out? That's the guy from Practical Jokers, I'm positive. Uh, I don't understand. I don't get why that 17 seconds was just like so detrimental to society. Okay, so it looks like gender stereotypical activities. Oh, poor men. Oh my gosh, they're viewed as bad fathers. It's a joke. Obviously, no one's gonna leave their baby on a conveyor belt. Why is this even bad? It's not even that bad. Okay, here's a commercial for Smart Beep. Don't know what this is gonna be, but I'm excited. I can't believe it, it's my first blind date. Oh, I do it all the time. Really? That's a red flag. You guys meet? Greg, Janice? We sure did. Wow, that's it. First off, that's incredibly embarrassing. Imagine just farting so loudly and proudly and there's people in the back seat. Great. This is smart. A beeper service for just a buck ninety-nine a month from who else? Smart Beep. I don't get what this is marketing to me. Smart Beep. I just think it's a bad commercial. Doesn't really like tell me anything about the product. Okay, so here's a Nissan Tilda commercial. Honey, I just had the ride of my life. Smooth, great looking, excellent body. And the size. It was so much bigger than I expected. Okay, so innuendos don't fly, I guess. See you later. I'm ready to go again. Ah, that's a fun one. Stop it. That's a fun one. We're all having fun. Also, wow. Okay, so they're in Europe because they're driving on the other side of the road. So they must be in Britain. If you know what I mean. This was a version on Australia. Okay, or maybe Australia. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry, Australians. I always forget you guys exist, you know? Obviously shouldn't be banned. Just, you know, making some jokes, having some fun. Is it a crime? Okay, so here's a banned commercial about strip poker, which to be fair, I can see why this is banned. It's also uploaded 15 years ago. That's kind of crazy. 2009. Yeah, I wouldn't be promoting gambling or stripping. So these are two things that probably shouldn't be in a commercial. All right, I don't know what exactly is going on here. Oh, whoa, we can't be showing all that cleavage on TV. What's going on? Get back to bed. Oh, uh, that's fun. Feel young again. Okay, so it's like, what's that stuff called? Viagra. It's basically like a Viagra type drug, Centrum Silver. I'm guessing that it like brings some blood flow to certain areas. Makes you feel young. Boost your testosterone. That's a cute commercial. Obviously, you can't be playing that on the airwaves. You don't want your kid who's like eight years old watching like a commercial in which, you know, something almost happens. Bunker footwear. Oh, that is bad. Of different species are all okay. about the same size. Oh my gosh, what? First, okay, I'm watching this at first and I'm thinking, okay, obviously he's probably like scrubbing something. He's obviously not doing that. But then they go ahead and, this is getting too far. It's like bestiality vibes. It just doesn't make sense. Like, why are you watching that while doing that? Why are you polishing your leather footwear while watching that? Like, it's one thing if you're watching it, in, like they could have been more clever with it. That's so weird. That's crazy. Okay, here's a commercial from PETA. Who else? PETA themselves should be banned. There's a girl just, I mean, she's being weird. She's just licking her coat. Okay, she has a hairball. I don't see what's so bad about that. Furs for animals. I don't think that should be banned. I think it's a little weird, a little creepy. I just don't understand why this would be banned. It's just somebody just like literally licking. Is that a crime? Then lock me up. Okay, so another PETA commercial. Let's see what's going on. Put the captions on, don't need those. Ban Thanksgiving ad. Thank you for the turkey we're about to eat and for the turkey farms where they pack them into dark, 
tiny little sheds for their whole lives. Thank you for when they burn their feathers off while they're still alive. And for when Turkey gets kicked around like a football. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really good commercial for making people stop and think about what they're actually eating, which I think most of us should be. We should be conscious of the food that we're putting into our body. We should be grateful for the animal that we're about to eat. But also like, I'm, a, I'm an omnivore. I'm obviously gonna eat meat. Okay, a Super Bowl ad from 2014 for the Super Bowl featuring Scarlett Johansson was banned. Like most actors, my real job is saving the world. Start with plain water, add okay. bubbles, mix in the perfect flavor. So far, so Look, good. Soda that's better for you and all of us. Less sugar, less bottles. Okay. If only I could make this message go viral. You doing it, Scarlett? Yeah, you. Do. This isn't bad. There's nothing provocative about what she's wearing. There's nothing revealing in her dress. Sorry, Coke and Pepsi. I don't see what. Why is that banned? Banned for what? Being so hot? What is so offensive? This needs to be. I don't understand why this was banned. Because it objected to a sultry Scarlett Johansson. Uh, okay, so she uttered the words "Sorry, Coke and Pepsi." So I guess you're unable to call out different competitors. Why? I guess because they had commercials too. Here's a commercial from Burger King that was banned from 2008. I think Burger King should be banned, period. All right, let the man just enjoy his sandwich. That sandwich does look pretty good though. Sweetie. Oh, he's cheating on her. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like a bestiality angle, like you can't be in a relationship with a cow, which is fair, but like, why ban it? Just having some fun. Okay, here's a banned 90s Coke commercial. 90s were a different time. Okay, that's clearly not real. That's clearly not real. All right, here we have a Rolling Rock beer commercial. Do you know when you're watching a beer commercial? Watch closely. People are unable to drink the alcohol. They just put it to their lips. I hope this has a good turn because this could be a great commercial. Where are they going with this? Rolling Rock? Yes. Is it drink responsibly? Is that is that why? Because it's like you're responsible, you wore a cup to the game. I don't get, I, okay, I see why it was banned because there's a bunch of people getting hit in the nuts, but I don't really understand why I should buy Rolling Rock after watching that. I'm not sold. All right, here we go, Snickers, Super Bowl 2007. This was banned. A couple guys sharing a Snicker. I think we just accidentally kissed. Quick, do something manly. Oh, I see why this was banned. Ah! Okay, probably multiple reasons. People are gonna call this homophobic ah! because you have to like prove your masculinity and guys can't like other guys. And then they also were obviously drinking like motor fluid on TV. It's two guys kissing. Guys have been loving guys for millennia. Even back then you can get your head chopped for, okay. Okay, Smith gone viral 69. You could never air this by 2023 standards. Yes, that's true. Okay, here we have a potato quality Ikea commercial from a very long time ago. Let's see if we could spot why it's banned. Why am I feeling a 9-11 joke incoming? Oh, that was it. Oh! Oh, I'm realizing what that is. Oh, I thought that was like a train. You know what? It's good that there was very low quality footage because I don't know if I don't know if I was able to show that. Okay, that's a good commercial. It's, hey, put your stuff away. You know, buy a dresser so you can store that away so your kid doesn't get a hold of it. That's that's pretty funny slash creative slash clearly going to get banned. All right, here we have a banned Bill Clinton commercial. This one has 7 million views. In the Netherlands, shout out to Hari, the editor of this video. Okay. Bill Clinton, voodoo doll. What are we doing here? He's gonna control Bill Clinton, right? And let me guess, there's gonna be something with Monica Lewinsky. Chase. Unfortunately, our base taxes on working family. We can deal with our budget. We. Alliance. Just call us. Central Bahir Insurance Company. It was a good commercial. I think there was a lot of thought that went into that. I also don't understand why Bill Clinton is doing commercials. Aren't you not allowed to like take sponsorships if you're the president of the United States? Doesn't that feel like a little bit out of bounds? Unless that was like a fake or like an AI Bill Clinton, but I don't think they had that back then. All right, pretty funny. That's that's a good commercial. Here's a banned commercial for Learn English. This has 11 million views. 
Family of four, classic family unit. It is a good song. Want to learn English? This should be like a Duolingo commercial. Rosetta Stone? Okay, Sosman Language Training. Great commercial. Premier commercial. Probably my favorite one yet. Obviously should be banned because you can't say two of those words on air, especially when it's like going 10 times in a row. However, that is one of the greatest commercials ever. All right, here we have a racist McDonald's commercial. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Do whatever you want, baby. Let's just share a 20 piece. 20 McNuggets for only $4.99? That's not enough nuggets. Anything else? Get next to McDonald's crispy, juicy chicken McNuggets so you get the taste you love at a price you'll love even more. Guess who's going to the game? Thank you. There's always more to love at McDonald's. Wait, why is why is that Ben? Did I miss something? Listen to the very beginning. Okay, let's let's turn this up. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? <laughs> Wait. Welcome to McDonald's. May There's no way that's the actual audio. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. I started dying when I played it back, ain't no way. So apparently this is real. One more time. Welcome to McDonald's, may I take your- Okay, that's crazy. There's a Bud Light commercial that was banned in 2007. Wonder why. Great night for swim. I don't have my bathing suit. Oh. Okay, new door. About to get risque. Looks like Larry Bird. Oh, that's funny. That'd be incredibly embarrassing. That's why you shouldn't skinny dip. Why don't people just, I don't understand. Do people just not have underwear on? Because you could easily go in that as well. Like if you're a guy, there's no reason you should ever be naked in a pool. Ever. All right, Ikea, here we go. Band commercial. Wonder what it's going to be this time. Okay, very cute. Is that his wife or is that just some random girl? All right, I could see why it's banned. This is leading to something which you definitely can't put on air. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Is that real? Oh, so she got stabbed when she went again. Why do you have a fork on the couch, my guy? That's crazy. All right, shout out to Ikea. Okay, so this commercial not only was banned, but they were also sued. 2.1 million views. It may seem intimidating, but really, it's one of the easiest things you can ever do. I've been practicing. Oh, no. Good. Oh. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Help America shoot. Be a friend. Be a mentor. Just be there. Why were they sued? Let's see what the comments say on this one. Okay, no comments. I don't know why this was banned. I thought it was a pretty cute commercial, so maybe I just... I should not be responsible for doing final review of commercials, I guess. Because so far, I mean, I would have put pretty much all these out. All right, in 2012, we had this banned commercial from the Super Bowl. Not do that in this house. What? Oh. Uh, never mind. Oh. Oh. Why do you guys like to eat in the bedroom? Oh my! That is a great commercial. Is that real? That can't be real. Full version? Wow, so it actually was real. You know what? I used to, it is true, commercials used to be pretty wild. There's more. Mm. Okay, so he actually was eating. So I could see why this was banned, but also nothing bad really happened. All these like sexual innuendos and commercials, I guess just results in ban. Okay, here's a Volkswagen e-golf commercial. When we learn to adapt, amazing. We can achieve anything. So far, really uplifting. Great. What do we have here? The golf is electric. 100% electric e-golf. What about... How is this possibly banned? How is this a banned commercial? Banned in the UK. The UK is so soft for gender stereotypes. What was even wrong? Nobody understands it either. POV, you're here from school. What, did they like show this in school? Maybe this is like marketing 101, how to like not do it, even though this is like a perfectly fine commercial. Jeez. Okay, so here we have a borderline racist 1960s Jello ad. I'm excited to watch this one. Back to present ancient Chinese pantomime, just for fun of it, Jello tonight. Okay, Back let's see. To present Small Chinese Thai baby waiting for dessert. Chinese mother bling baby jello, famous Western delicacy. Okay. Poor Chinese baby. So far, so he good. Unable to tell if this jello is straw belly, glass belly, jelly, orange, lemon, lime, apple, black glass belly. Unless black it's a jelly, white guy doing like a Chinese accent. But even so, I mean, flavors. I don't think that's racist. Poor Chinese baby. But Chinese mother bling baby, great Western invention. 
Spoon. Oh, okay. So the great jello. Western invention of cutlery. This is great jello. Deep, dark, delicious new flavor. Okay. Unpopular opinion. I don't think that was racist. I think the bar to be racist has been set too low now. People think anything's racist. I don't think it's racist to do an impression of an accent. Sue me. An impression is an impression. Whether it's good or bad is one thing. And you could say like, oh, like, you know, that's not in good faith, but it's not racist. Okay. Here's a Volkswagen commercial. Okay. It's called terrorist. So I think right off the bat, something's going to happen. Something racy is about to go down here. So there he is. And... Polo, small but tough. Whoa, that is a crazy commercial. I can't believe I just watched that. I mean, it's it's good for the car. It shows that the car, you know, in a worst case scenario, everything's gonna be okay. That is crazy. Obviously should be banned. That is a pretty bad commercial. Okay, here is a Durex commercial. It's banned and let's see what we got. You can't wear all white costumes. When are people gonna... <laughs> It's all white people too. If you don't know what Durex is, let's keep it that way. You can't just wear white hoods. That's the worst possible thing you can put on. All right, so here's an ad for goodness shakes. This reminds me of a shake weight commercial. Everyone, let me guess. Let me guess. It's a shake weight. Kind of looks like Channing Tatum. Oh, okay. Goodness shakes. So it's like a protein shake called goodness shakes. So shaking up the protein. Okay. I can say what it's banned against. Little innuendos are a no-no, especially in the UK. Okay, here's another Burger King commercial that's banned called Long Chicken in Germany. And why he's holding it right there. He's showing how big his chicken sandwich is. <laughs> Nothing bad here. And they're laughing about it. Let me guess, she dances and then he's gonna reveal more. Oh, you can't be showing that. Wish your chicken was bigger. The long chicken and three new flavors. Spicy Cajun, bacon, clubber, honey mustard. Great commercial. Okay, Germany, I see you guys. I don't know why people are making up stories about watching this commercial decades, but okay, everyone's getting like Mandela affected by this. Great commercial. It shows the true size of those long chicken sandwiches. Okay, you know when you've been tangoed, an advert for slap? Some weird orange guy. Ooh, maybe it's a violence ban? You know when you've been tangoed. All right, I'm guessing it was bad because people started like tangoing people and tango just implies like a slap on both sides of the cheek, which if you do that to the ears, for instance, you could like make somebody deaf and actually seriously hurt them. So I wouldn't advise doing a tango to somebody. So I can see why they banned it. All right, the Sony PS Vita. How many times did you do it yesterday? Are you None. afraid you're doing it too often? And now, you can keep going all day long. Don't you like that? You don't even need to stop. And if you want to, you could even join me. Ah, the PS Vita. What is the PS Vita? I never actually played with that. I know what the PSP is. Is it just like a portable PlayStation? Is that what it's like the same thing? Funny thing is PS Vita would have sold a lot better if they released this commercial. Yeah, true. A commercial like that, that would stick in culture. You know, that would be like a defining commercial of our, I can see this on Twitter getting like 6 million fake impressions. All right, onto a car commercial by Hyundai called Toy Boy. And this was banned. Maybe that's German. No, what is this, French? Okay, so... Dry cleaning. Oh, she's signaling that she has a guy. Okay. What happened? Oh, so they each wanted to hide their boy toy and it was more taboo because they're, he was hiding like a sexy cowboy or something. I think that's what the angle of this was. I don't know. I'm not very smart. I'm not good at commercials either. Okay, this is for Vim Cream. Mother in prison. Distraught daughter. Pretty some chubby fingers. I gotta get back. She's gonna say, put some cream on, you have dry face. I love you, mama. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Don't spend your life cleaning. Cleans the tough stuff easily. Wait, that's a great commercial. Why is it banned? Because it's making fun of incarcerated people? This was genuinely clever. It was. Yeah, I, I feel really bad for the mom. I guess because they're playing around with people going to jail. Like, it's not like a serious thing. Okay, I think that's fun. Okay, Game Boy Micro Animal Testing. This was banned. Okay, so banned. I bet you Peter reached out. They didn't like this. You know, this is really good, by the way, for the rats. It, like, stimulates. Oh, okay, maybe that's why it's banned. But it stimulates, like, um, their brains more. So hypertrophy happens. <laughs> Too much fun, Nintendo. Okay. Yeah. I mean, anytime you see like animals engaging in cool behavior, I'm pretty sure that is grounds to keep it off air. Here we have Dodge, and this is a banned commercial. 2.1 million views. And that's big. Is it new? Just got it. Seven inches longer. Handles great. I love the way it looks. And power. I take this bad boy out. I get respect. You'll get some respect with that. My girlfriend loves it. Introducing the all new Dodge. Just guys being dudes. You know what? I've never talked to a guy at the urinal. I make it a point just to look straight. Sometimes I'll just be like going to a bathroom with a friend and then I act like I don't even know them. Xbox 360 ad called Standoff. Banned. Let's see why. I looks like the guy from Breaking Bad. What's his name? Aaron Paul. 
Okay, so gun violence. What's gonna happen? I'm actually bought into this. Drop it. Okay, so I guess it's making fun of like mass shootings and stuff. Oh, nice. Everybody's participating. Jump in. Oh, that's fun. That's good. It's like everybody play Xbox 360. Like the whole world can connect and play video games. Now we got the Apple Vision Pro. Another Bud Light band commercial. They love just like walking on the edge. Did you bring anything for the clothing drive? No. Too bad. You get a free Bud Light for every article of clothing you donate. Sweet. That's a great deal. Morning, Bob. Morning, Jim. So what is that? That's like five, six beers for each of these guys. Hold that. That can't be allowed in the workplace. Hold that. I don't understand how they make one minute commercials. Isn't that banned? <laughs> the electrician. Bud Light, take your clothes off. All right, here we have a Nando's commercial called The Last Dictator. I've never had Nando's. Next time we go to the UK, I will try it. I don't know if it's actually good or not. I hear people like saying it's the best thing ever. Okay, so let me guess. Some like African dictator. Looks Zimbabwe coded. Maybe Kenya over here. Oh, Kim Jong-un. Oh, so these are all current dictators. Looks like Saddam Hussein or something. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. That is why it's bent. No one should ever have to eat alone. So get a Nando six pack meal for six. <laughs> Nobody should ever eat alone. I think some people should be eating alone. A few people. I could think of maybe like six. Now we have a Pepsi ad. Gay Pepsi ad. Oh, on me? You're definitely getting checked out. I am. I am. You are. Now's go make chance. your move. I guess it's now or never. Exactly. Uh huh. Go wrong. Here. Have a Pepsi Max. Yep. Pepsi Max. What is it? Max caffeine? Is that what that means? Here we go. Let's do this. He's gonna go up to a guy. Watch. He's gonna walk right past her. Oh. Is that Angelina Jolie? It is. Wow, how'd they get her? And he's gonna walk past her. So he went after the, the dude. Get your kicks at pepsi.co.uk. I don't think it should be banned. It's, if anything, by banning this, you're showing that it's not normal to be gay, which is probably the exact thing you were trying to fight against by banning it. But like, why can't you just leave this commercial? I don't understand. All right, a Chinese laundry detergent ad, 4.1 million views. This was made in China, I believe. All right, here we go. She just threw him in the washer machine. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I knew it, I knew it. China's crazy for that. Wow, that is that is crazy. This would never fly in the US. You just can't make this in the US. Even if it's a joke, it's just, it doesn't fly in the West. You can make these jokes in Asia. I mean, I obviously that was banned in the West. That's crazy. Here we have a banned German Ninja Turtles commercial. I'm excited about this one. Right, there we go, Ninja Turtles. I don't know if turtles have a thing. I'm assuming they do. How else would they reproduce? <laughs> okay, well, I never thought to visualize a Ninja Turtles appendage, but now I know what it looks like. I hear of a Ben M&M's commercial. Show me the green one, my favorite. Okay. Daddy? I just think there's a reason that we come in different bags. Howard. Daddy, all that matters is he's sweet. He ain't half as sweet as white chocolate. I hate you! New M&M's dark chocolate. So racist dad M&M commercial. I love that. So this is fake. It's made by Squinks. He calls it a parody himself. I think this would fare pretty well as a commercial. His animation skills are on point. I like this guy, Squink. Okay, so here's a band Flintstones Winston Cigarettes commercial. Let me guess. You're going to pull out some cigarettes? Cigarettes are so bad for you, it's crazy that they used to just promote it like that. Like imagine like Peter Griffin holding that or SpongeBob. Don't smoke guys. If there's one takeaway from this entire video, don't ever smoke. It's such a waste of brain cells and like your lungs and longevity and it's just stupid. And you smell and you look bad. It's just and your teeth creeps me out thinking about it. Here's a Doritos commercial. Beautiful baby. Any day now. Really? You're eating Doritos? He's eating Doritos. He's hungry. See what I have to do. I know. Oh, the baby wants one. Look. That's cute. <laughs> oh, give me that. <laughs> cool commercial. Don't know why it's bad. I don't think it's that bad. I thought that was kind of, that was funny, actually. The baby being born prematurely because he was trying to get Doritos. That's hilarious. Okay, Zeus. I feel like I've seen this guy in other commercials. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> All right, so that's why. I think it's a good commercial. Luke Eikens gets hit with a dart. This never gets old. They need more commercials. Yeah, I don't know why this was banned. My conclusion after watching all these videos is that the world has gotten less funny. We need people to push the boundaries by just doing crazy things. Sometimes you're going to miss. You're going to be racist. Sometimes you're going to be on point and the video is going to be funny. We got to take those chances. Pepsi versus Coca-Cola banned commercial. I love these like old YouTube intros. Hey, right, potato quality, of course. Looks like they're in like Central America or something. All right, what are you going to get? What are you going to get, boy? Coke. Okay, good choice. Kind of a fan of Diet Coke. Whatever floats your boat. Wow, this is genius. He bought Coke to get the Pepsi. And guess who the real winner is here? Coca-Cola, because they made two sales, Pepsi only made one. So Coca-Cola is now the winner by about 100% of margin. All right, Bud Light. I never thought I'd enjoy getting it in the can as much as I do. What does in the can mean? I'm guessing that's like an innuendo about. in the can. Right after this game, I'm getting it in the can. Bud Light Lime. Is BL? Yeah, BL is Bud Light Lime. I don't think they make this anymore. In the can. I don't even want to look up what that means. I'm just going to use some context clues. 3.6 million views. So it's a pretty, okay, this ad campaign really took off. Here we have a Doritos band commercial. Doritos is all over this. All their Super Bowl commercials used to be pretty racy like this. And here she comes running over. No Doritos left. Oh, this guy loves Doritos. So he perfectly times it. Oh, that is not the outcome that he expected. That is not the outcome my guy wanted. That is a good commercial though. Back when the world was still kind of normal. Okay, here's another Band Doritos commercial. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> this looks fan-made. This doesn't look like a real one. It feels weird watching. Oh my God. Prematurely. <laughs> what do you got for me here? Yummy. Looks like Miley Cyrus. All right, I think we're gonna end it there. All right, so here we have an Axe commercial. Does Axe still exist? Do people use it? Welcome home. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Pop the collar. Cindy, Cindy yes. It's so nice to meet both nice of you. Nice to meet you, nice you, to meet you meet finally. You Travis has told us so much about you. Oh, Mom, no. <laughs> Dad, this is Shannon. Oh, hi. Shannon. And this is Aaron. Hey, cutie. That is Jess. See, that's the result of Axe body wash. Or X deodorant. Hi. Elizabeth. X, use in moderation. Okay, I guess polygamy is, is not something that society aspires to, so I could see why they wanted to pull this off the airwaves. Not the worst thing I've watched. Hey, okay, Skittles. What are you about to show me? Oh, I've seen this commercial. You're going to see what happens here. Look what was born. An orange Skittle. All that just to showcase the orange Skittle. To show that it's worth it. It's worth the trip to the grocery store to pick this up. That's how good it is, because this is going to make you feel really good. Skittles is not done yet. Put your index finger on your screen where the Skittle is. A video is going to start, and your finger is going to get weird. Okay. But only if it's there. My no. finger's here. Hey! Your finger's cold. Ah, uh, okay. I put it back. It's really cold, but I like it. No. All right, you're making me uncomfy. I don't know how that's even a Skittles commercial. I'm just watching some random dude in his backyard. I feel like this can't be real. It got banned. I've officially been traumatized. Yeah, me too. I don't know why I just went for that. Okay, in 1960s, we have a Pillsbury commercial for Funny Face Drink Mix. Funny Face is fun to drink. So oh, that's drink. here he come. Okay. I mean, clearly, I can see why this was banned. Funny face drinks from Pillsbury. Chinese cherry. <laughs> If the world was just so different back then. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I will see you next time. Peace.